Hello, beloved readers. Today, I have an exciting story to share with you. I hope it brings you joy and excitement. Today, we have a book named Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs Short Stories for Kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe to the Kid Channel for more stories. Thank you for reading. So, here we go. 1. A Beautiful Princess is Born Long ago, in a distant kingdom, a beautiful queen lived who gave birth to a baby girl. The queen had always wished for a beautiful daughter, and she was blessed with one who had skin as white as snow, eyes that were brighter than diamonds, and cherry red lips. The little girl was named Snow White for her beauty. As the years passed, Snow White grew as beautiful as her mother, and before she could reach her prime, her mother grew ill and passed away. The king eventually married another woman who became Snow White's stepmother. The stepmother was a beautiful woman, but was also a witch. She was so proud of her looks that she could not stand any other woman who was better looking than her. The witch also has a magical mirror into which she would gaze and ask, Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? The mirror faithfully answered, You, queen, are the fairest of them all. 2. The Evil Stepmother Snow White grew as the years passed into a beautiful young girl. By the time she turned eighteen, there was nobody in the kingdom who was as beautiful as she was. The queen was always jealous of Snow White's beauty and frequently sought reassurance from the mirror on the wall. The day Snow White turned eighteen, she asked the mirror who the fairest of them all was, and the mirror replied that although the queen is beautiful, Snow White is far lovelier than she is. She boiled with rage and looked for a huntsman on hearing the truth. The evil stepmother ordered the huntsman to take Snow White into the forest and kill her. The man obeyed her orders as she was the queen and took Snow White into the forest without anyone getting to know her. However, when the time came to kill the beautiful girl, he could not do it. Instead, he set her free in the forest and told her to run away and never come back, or else the queen would try to kill her again. Snow White thanked him for his kindness and ran away into the wood. 3. Snow White Meets the Dwarves After a long day of running away from what could have been a terrible fate, Snow White was sobbing, tired, and hungry. She wandered into the dense forest, scared, until she came across a tiny cottage. She entered the cottage and found that there was no one in it. However, there was food on the dining table, which she gleefully ate as she was starving. She looked around and realized that the cottage was messy and decided to clean it. When she was exhausted, she went to the room and found seven beds. She made the sheets and slept in the bed she felt most comfortable in. In the evening, the cottage residents, who were all dwarves, returned home from a long day of work at the mine. They realized that the house was sparkling clean and the food they left at the table was consumed. When they investigated further, they found a girl sleeping in one of the beds. Seeing her shocked the dwarves, making them scream and jump away. Hearing the dwarves, Snow White woke up from her sleep and screamed in fear. After the shock of the discovery settled, the seven dwarves introduced themselves to her. Snow White introduced herself and told her story. The dwarves felt bad for the poor girl and allowed her to stay with them in exchange for taking care of the chores and cooking for the dwarves. Snow White settled with the dwarves and all were happy. 4. Stepmother Casts a Spell The evil queen never bothered to ask the mirror who the fairest of them was for a long time as she thought Snow White was dead. One day, out of curiosity, she asked the mirror, and it gave the same reply that Snow White was the fairest of them all. Realizing that Snow White was still alive, 
the queen decided to take matters into her own hand. Being a witch, she concocted a potent poison and injected it into a delicious apple. The witch then set off on a search to look for Snow White in the forest. She soon realized the girl's presence when she came across the dwarf cottage. During the day, the dwarves were off to work in the mines, and Snow White stayed behind. They would have warned her not to open the door for anyone, knowing her life would always be in danger for as long as the queen was alive. The witch disguised herself as a feeble old woman selling apples in the forest. She knocked on the door, but Snow White didn't open it. She then enticed Snow White by showing her the delicious blood-red apples through the keyhole and tells her to try just one. Snow White cannot resist and takes a bite out of the apple. She falls to the ground soon after the first bite and goes into a deep, irreversible sleep. 5. Handsome Prince Breaks the Spell The dwarves come back home to the horror of Snow White lying unconscious on the floor. Not knowing what to do, they place her in her bed and stand sobbing next to her motionless body. They make her a coffin out of glass and place her in it before deciding to bury her. Around the same time, a handsome prince passes through the forest and stops by the cottage of the dwarves. He is so mesmerized by Snow White's beauty that he leans in and places a gentle kiss. The kiss from what will become her true love instantly revives Snow White by breaking the witch's curse. They return to her kingdom, and after the queen's action is revealed to everyone, she is banished from the land. The handsome prince and Snow White marry and live happily ever after. Life lessons your child can learn from this story. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs has a lot to teach children. Beautiful people have problems too, perhaps even more than everyone else. Not everybody wishes you well. Some are jealous enough to harm you. It is important to have trustworthy friends. You can win over all people with a kind heart and good manner. Harming others out of spite will bounce back on you eventually. True love always brings you out of the worst of places. In the Snow White story summary, we learn that there will always be people who covet what we have. They might even go to great lengths to take what they desire from us. It is important to have trusted friends, and the touch of love can transform the world. We have reached the end of the story. Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with Luna on Teep Kid Channel. Bye. I'll see you next time.